Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming. And um, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. Um, as that helps to move the, um, the videos around YouTube. Let's see what we've got for you. Okay, so straight away I've got Neptune coming out. As I said, these energies are really powerful. So, um, obviously certain people will fear them more than others, but let's see what's on um, coming up for you. Bottom of the um, astrological deck is Moon Soul. So Libra is a relationship sign. Um, so that will be relevant as well. Um, so um, certainly all of those energies will be in the spotlight. All the energies I've mentioned. And then, as I said, a full moon coming up, which will highlight relationship things as well. So now for the energies for you and then for your person, they may be interchangeable. You may see aspects coming out um, to do with you that actually are reflected in your person as well. So, you know, you can just take it as it resonates. You'll recognize certain things, certain themes or aspects that you are dealing with. We've got an extra one here. The bottom of the deck is Mother Mary, expect a miracle. And then we've also got um, Sedna as well. Infinite supply. Let's get a destiny card for you. Pleasure. So as I said, all of these um, these beautiful qualities are all, all possible um, during this wonderful Piscean energy. And then okay, and we've got full moon in Libra coming up, which is the full moon, as I said, on the twenty eighth. So that's going to be important for you in some way, shape or form. And then we've got um, Disseminating Moon, uh, bottom of the deck. Take time to breathe out. Okay. All right, let's start with you then. So um, so we've got here Neptune Sacrifice and we've got Sekhmet um, Be Strong. So as I said, the Neptune energies are going to be very strong. Um, and um, as everything I mentioned, the beautiful connection um, that is possible under Neptune, um, this can be, it can make you quite dreamy as well, or you may be dreaming a lot, or you may be downloading um, certain things which are, um, you know, directly from the divine. Um, this is um, spiritual insight. It can be imagination, insight, um, inspiration, um, unconditional love. You could be very empathetic. You could be very compassionate at this time. You could be really tuned in to other people. And that can be um, wonderful. Those are all wonderful, but they can also be um, um, a bit draining uh, because people are drawn to that energy. So they will come and, and draw from your energy. So you will have to be careful about your boundaries, which is why you've got to be strong here. So um, so that, that lovely empathetic energy could uh, very well be drawing all kinds of things towards you. Um, it may also be to do with your person or it could be external. A lot of these things are external. 
So just make sure your boundaries are strong um, and, um, and uh, you know, make sure that you are spending time um, possibly in retreat or withdrawal um, or some kind of um, seclusion. Uh, you may want to, you may want to do that in any case because of this Neptunian energy. Um, but it is also um, really uh, worthwhile to do, to do your boundary checks and to actually conserve your energy um, during these phases. So that you may have other demands. I mean, you may be married with children. You may have a lot of other responsibilities and so on. And this is going to be worthwhile to do. Um, it can also, with this um, energy, can also bring up, as I said, things from the unconscious, which can be in the form of um, sort of um, things that need to be aired. And this can be behavioral patterns. It can be unconscious beliefs. It can be motivations, desires. Um, and these desires could be rising up, as I said, of, you know, sort of love, uh, the unconditional love, that beautiful um, higher vibration yeah. aspect of love um, can all be coming up under this. But so also can be um, self-defeating problems that come up, um, things that need to be resolved. And this can be self-defeating behaviors that you have. Um, and this could be in the form of like self-sabotage or um, addictions to things, um, or it could just be. Um, you know, inhibitions of some, of some sort, which prevent you from interacting properly in relationships. This could be all kinds of things that could be coming, it could be wounds. But at the same time, you have the opportunity to download incredible connections to God, to divine, to your angels, to the universe, you know. So make sure that you do your, your prayers and your, your inner work, your meditations, your time uh, where you do, do the work. So when you see something rising up in yourself, then face it and deal with it. This is why you've got the be strong. So you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So there could just be um, various uh, types of things which are arising up, um, uh, which need to be dealt with. But also it can just be that you are in a particularly dreamy or um, sort of reflective state. Um, and you can get a lot of insight, you can get a lot of inspiration, and you can get a lot of resolution uh, from that as well. All sorts of healing can take place during a, a phase like that. So take all of this um, with your relationship into account and go for the healing, aim for the healing, aim for the uh, peaceful resolution of things that have been a problem before, who have been an issue for you before. Aim for that. Um, and with the um, with the B strong segment energy, she is powerful. She's got um, you know this these li this lion energy, which is courage. So have the courage to face down any fears that you may have rising up at this time uh, within the relationship or anything else. But obviously we're doing a relationship reading, so any fears that come up, any inhibitions, any um, concerns, um, confusion, doubt things like that, all negativity. She's saying that have a victorious outcome in mind, have a vision of success, um, have a vision of your of your uh, seeing yourself being successful in this relationship or, or overcoming whatever it may be um, and have the courage to move forward. Um, it's also about, um, you know, uh, ignoring naysayers and skeptics. You know, people, um, you know, when you're in a relationship, other people may not um, be on the same page as you or may not see the same things as you or they just could be um, in, a, in a state of like negativity about your relationship because they are not in a relationship or things like that so people sometimes project stuff onto you so again be careful make sure your boundaries are clear um, and just honor yourself and honor your relationship and um, you know take advantage of this time for healing and resolution and for facing up to things it can also bring this beautiful um, soulmate energy in as well um, all of these things are possible with this. Um, but, you know, ignore the naysayers, the skeptics, and um, have a very positive, strong outlook. Um, and if you have to build up your body strongly as well through exercise and so on, to keep yourself strong so that you can face down these things and weather the storms, you know. Um, but it is it is about having courage as well to, to move forward. Now, for your person... Um, We've got uh, first house, the body, and we've got down a high priestess. So they've got a lot of yellow, which is all about the solar plexus energy. This is about confidence. This is about willpower. This is the, you know, the getting things done. It's a very sort of masculine energy. It's a very um, action energy, um, but it's, it's ultimately about confidence as well. So they may be building on that. They may be working on that. Um, down a high priestess, they're getting a lot of guidance, a lot of um, intuitive guidance, inspirational guidance, um, as, as you will do as well, but in a slightly different way um, and um, the high priestess energy is all knowing so 
lot of intuition there and they're probably getting a lot of downloads at the moment they're being guided with certain things as well so this could be action they need to take or certain things they need to be projecting now forward you know like their course in life their action in life so they may be very well um pl plotting their their path forward you know how they're going to move forward in life that's very much a first house thing. Um, or it could be body issues as well. They could be um, just working on certain things, um, you know, perhaps raising their vibration, which is why they've got Dana High Priestess, raising their vibration, raising their frequency, uh, which is going to affect their life force, their vitality, their chi. Um, and they could be really radiant at this time, or they could be working on that to actually raise their vibration, raise their frequency. Um, and um, that in infuses the body. Um, but it's also what they are projecting at this time. So they could be projecting, um, uh, it, it depends on, you know, how, what they're downloading here, but they could be projecting a lot of healing, a lot of um, energy outwards to others. Um, and this can be almost like leadership potential where they are channeling divine information. So it says here, um, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So your per person has this knowledge in whatever way, shape or form they are transmitting that. Um, it doesn't have to be in a spiritual form, but it can be. But it's the way they do things will, can have an, a spiritual aspect to it. And this is wisdom. This is grace. This is understanding. This is intuition. This is higher knowledge um, being transmitted. And this can be through in the form of um, classes or through seminars or workshops or just transmitting it in general to people around them through whatever it is they're doing, whatever is their medium, um, being able to transmit that. And so this um, does give the body a certain amount of um, um, you know, raises the vibration, uh, but it's also their course in life, you know, which directions they're taking, how they're moving forward and what people are seeing when they see them. And um, they may just be very well seeing this beautiful, confident energy um, and this knowledge and they, other people may be drawn to them as well. Um, there's communication here as well. So they will need to be needing to communicate this knowledge. They may all be, you may be seeing this and they may be transmitting it to you in some way, shape or, or form as well. So, you might just find that um, people are drawn to them because of their knowledge and they're finding ways to transmit this knowledge and wisdom in whatever form is right for them, whatever is their thing. OK, so but they're going to be guided and they're going to um, going to receive um, sort of um, a boost to the body, to the physical body as well, because this can be physical as well, all aspects of the physical body um, and they could be powering up really at this time. Then for the situation, for your current situation, we've got Mercury Mind, we've got Cordelia go outside. So um, it seems that um, there's a lot of thinking going on at this time. Um, and this is a lot of mental energy, um, a lot of um, processing going on. Um, and this can also be um, just um, waiting for news or receiving news or um, hoping for news. A lot of research could be going on at this time um, for something that you perhaps are wanting to do together or one or either of you could be involved in this as well. But this is also tra transmission of knowledge as well. But this is in the form of communication. Um, so there's a lot of thinking going on, a lot of um, thought processes and uh, communication. And this can be in the form of expression. So whether you need to do this or your person needs to do this, or you are doing this together. Um, this is um, actually all the mental faculties coming in here, but it's communication based. So perhaps there are things that need to be said or discussed or talked about or researched, whatever may be the case. Um, and um, it can also be in the form of, as I said, waiting for news or, or transmitting knowledge or transmitting information in some way. It can also be document and contract based. Um, perhaps you're waiting for something that as a, as a couple or uh, within your relationship, or one or other of you is involved with this. Um, it can also be involved with track, keeping track of the media and news and so on and, um, you know, uh, all of that information. But it, it really is communication. So I feel this is important at this time for the two of you. Um, we've got Cordelia go outside. So this is saying that um, whatever you are researching or working on or talking about or communicating about, um, the manifestation may occur um, in May, the month of May. Um, um, or a springtime, whenever there's, you know, springtime. But normally she is associated with, with May, 1st of May. Um, and But it's saying that all this thinking and researching and um, electronics and technology and so on um, and talking and um, all of that, 
is fine um, and will help you to understand. And there's understanding coming in with this. Well, there could even be learning. But it's also important to go outside and spend time in nature. So the two of you or each of you, depending on your situation, get out into nature, get out into the fresh air and um, spend time by the sea or in nature wherever you can. Um, and this will bring in the fresh air. It will bring in the fresh knowledge into your situation. It will give you um, a you know, um, it will stir the energy so that um, whatever needs to be said, whatever needs to be discussed, whatever needs to be communicated can be communicated. And um, it says you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So this is about bringing fresh energy into the relationship. This is what needs to happen now. A fresh injection of energy um, into your communications, um, to whatever you're discussing, whatever you're talking about, um, whatever you're researching together. It's, 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 it's that communication spark that needs to be um, boosted. And um, spending time in nature will help to uplift your energies and do that. Now we've got here... Um, a sixth house routine. So this is about your daily routines. Perhaps the two of you have um, got caught up in um, just day-to-day -day, uh, things and there's not a lot of um, energy being shifted around there. And I think this is why you've got the go outside um, and uh, be, be in the fresh air and so on is to invigorate uh, invigorate your daily routines, invigorate what it is that you're both working on. Um, and this can be work-related, um, but it can also be health, diet and lifestyle-related. And um, that's invigorating that, in invigorating your lifestyle so that you can enjoy bringing fresh energies in. And this needs to happen um, because um, you've got undying love and um, the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So this is saying that whatever is your situation, um, this is about bringing fresh energy now into the relationship um, and, and uh, bringing that in. So you need to do that. And this is also about spending time in nature, the floral kingdoms, whatever, um, and wherever you are in the world, you know, if um, whatever is the season, but it's about spending time in nature. And if spring is where you are, then uh, get out and enjoy that invigorating burst of energy. Um, but it's saying that um, whatever love you have shared, um, and as I said, you may have been in a relationship for some time, or this may be fairly new, um, whatever love you have given out um, in any form, uh, whether it's past relationships or in the current relationship, um, has been recorded and is there always. Uh, your efforts and your um, whatever you've put into the relationship is always going to be there. Um, but this is about opening up to welcome new love uh, and and the the higher vibration of love which is what i said the piscean energy is going to do for a lot of people or it's going to provide circumstances or fertile ground for that to raise up the energies the, um, the to reach for that beautiful unconditional love or just love in general opening up to that and this is what this is about this is about the past is the past whatever went down in the past whatever happened in the past this is about preparing um, and going through healing at this time and healing is again another Piscean concept so receiving healing the healing is very swift so be open to this the healing healing and this can be on very much on a physical level um, and um, be open to that to welcome the fresh energies in because that's going to invigorate you to move forward so be open to that um, and uh, welcome that energy in get out and about um, get out into the fresh air, get out as much as you possibly can and, um, and welcome this, this, uh, you know, open yourself up to that. Um, and, um, you know, let the past, um, let the past leave you now. Um, and this is going to in, in, enhance your, you know, your, um, your health and your, your, you know, your general well-being and your lifestyle. You need to bring fresh energy in. And that is also going to enhance the pleasure uh, principle as well. Um, and that, you know, when you invigorate your body and you invigorate your, your energies, then that will enhance that aspect of your relationship as well. So we've got here um, also um, the bottom of the moonology, take time to breathe out, um, disseminating moon. So this is uh, about um, relaxing as well, taking time out. Um, you may need to retreat or withdraw during the Piscean energy because once it goes into Aries, then uh, there will be more action-oriented uh, energies around. Um, so reflection, solitude, um, meditation, any sort of spiritual concepts, just relaxing and enjoying um, the time to, to breathe, basically. And um, and this, as I 
said the assault undying love this this is a um a healing energy it's, it's saying that the healing is swiftly um occurring for one or either of you or both of you and um just be ready you know for once that is complete um then you'll be open opening yourself up to to more love or to new love and so take time to breathe out enjoy this um sort of relaxing healing um, sort of energy and uh, it gives you time to accept things as well whatever has occurred because with Isolt does come acceptance about what has been in the past and um, knowing that all your efforts have been recorded and will always be there um, and um, now it's time to take a fresh breath and move forward so um, this is about that and uh, you know there's some sort of acceptance um, and also regrouping of your energy sort of um, um, gathering your resources for when it's time to take action so um, it's a, it's a, it's a very, it bodes very well for a relationship because it is in the Libra house. It's about balance. It's about um, being mutually supportive, balancing your energies and the energies of your person. You know, your needs, their needs, are they going to both be balanced? Um, it's about coming to that, sorting that out for yourselves. And that's going to be highlighted during that period. And this, the Libra is a cardinal sign as well, which is an action sign. So, you know, do everything you can to balance your energies, balance um, your needs with your person's needs um, it's about being mutually supportive really that's what the relationship be um, should be about and communication is important so um, but it's saying that you know with this uh, balancing of the energies a full moon is a result um, it's it's the outcome um, but it can also be about um, you know forgiveness uh, and in some cases that may be forgiving yourself or others in past relationships or even within this one if it's been a long time or if you've got a lot of water under the bridge it's about moving on from that opening up to new energies and um, uh, it can also be about um, just sort of gratitude being great grateful for everything that has happened and, and moving forward being welcoming this healing and well opening up to love uh, to the higher a higher octave of love so now for the um, outcome and potential we've got here Saturn return age so this is um this is about um you, with everything that's going on and, um, and and opening up to this new um, this new love and bringing this fresh air and the fresh energy into your relationship, you get you get to have a second chance, you get to have a second go at something, um, and um, this is this is saying that don't think that you're too old or too young or too anything to to take advantage of this beautiful opportunity that's coming to you now. This is a wonderful opportunity to go after what is close to your heart, what is really really important, um, and this is this is your time this is your time to say right i've done all my responsibilities i've done everything that i can do up until now or what is it in the past is in the past i did everything i could um and some things may have been a bit of a disappointment or some things may have you may be looking at things differently now but let go of the past all right um it's gone um, what you need to be doing now is planting seeds for the future and um, this is the outcome that is going to come in for you so it's a second chance it's a course correct um it's a release and redirect so release your energy from where it has been which is what Isolt is saying um, and prepare and you know open up to new things and this this must be the direction that is something that you would have loved to have done um, sometime before in your life um, you know what you could have should have or would have done um, now comes up again you get a unique opportunity to um, to to actually go after those things which really were close to your heart or which you wish you could have done earlier um, and um, it really is a, a wonderful second chance opportunity. Um, it's it's also going to build incredible inner strength, um, this as well. So with Hathor receptivity, um, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy and ability to give to others. So be open to love. This is what Isolt is saying. All right. Be open to love. Um, be open to healing. And I feel this is what you're going to receive now as an outcome or a potential. So this is about nurturing self and your person nurturing the relationship um it's also about op as i said opening yourself up to that the past is the past all right you want to move in a new direction now you want to be going after your heart's true desire and you've got the, a really wonderful opportunity and with saturn behind you there's no obstacle you can't overcome saturn is a uh, is a foundation builder um and if you have to course correct you know in other words change direction then that's what you must do and um don't allow others to get in your way uh, or other uh, people's opinions and things to get in your way as is what sick 
Meta's saying there, be strong. And um, open up, open up to love, open up to new opportunities, open up to a new direction in life, which is what the Saturn return is going to bring to you. Be open to receiving. Now, this can be, as I said, the receiving of love, the receiving of universal support, the receiving of ideas, whatever it may be. Um, and be open to that because you can give, um, but if you give too much, you become um, depleted. And this is about um, this is about filling up your own cup and moving forward now. And don't allow things um, to get in your way. You know, don't put blocks in your way, which is very much um, a, a sometimes a, a Piscean thing. They put self defeating obstacles um, in the way. So let go of all that now. Let go of the past. Be open to receiving. Be open to moving forward to the future. And be receptive. Be in a receptive frame. Um, and uh, be great, you know, have the gratitude as well for this wonderful second opportunity which is coming to you now. And um, we've also got, um, um, we've got Mother Mary, expect a miracle, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So a win win outcome is forecast, certainly from a relationship point of view, um, and expect a miracle. So something is going to come in which is going to boost this whole situation. Um, it's something you've prayed about or you've sent a request about, something that's important to you, and um, the universe has got it. Um, and just um, you know, don't be too attached to a specific outcome. Put it forward what it is that you're hoping for, what you wish for, what your, re what your request is, and let the universe deliver you the best shape and form of what that is. Um, and, um, it, uh, but expect a miracle coming in. We've also got Sedna Infinite Supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So this is saying that um, your needs are going to be met. Whatever is occurring here, your needs are going to be met. You're going to have a roof over your head. You're going to have enough to eat. You're going to have whatever you require. Whatever it is that you require, you're going to have it. The universe has your back. And um, this is a very abundant energy. Um, it's saying that um, this is an abundant universe. You just have to tap into it. Um, and know that um, your needs are going to be met. You will have what you need. And don't be afraid. You know, let go of fears, which could be rising up now under this Piscean energy. Let go of fears. And um, it will come to you. You know, it will come. And you've got the support of the universe. Spend time near the ocean. Uh, for some of you, a trip to the ocean or a relocation to the ocean may be um, coming up. But it's spend time at the ocean. Enjoy the ocean. And, um, and, uh, and, and let this, this energy come to you. We've also got a um, moon soul here. So um, this is saying that um, emotions will be high. There will be some very emotive situations. So this, these sort of emotive situations can be just riding emotional waves, whether they're your own waves or the waves around you at this time. Um, but the moon energy is very much about your habits. It's where you go when you want to feel safe and secure, but it's also um, your, um, your emotional life in general. And um, it's cyclical. Um, so you go through periods where you're up and other times when you feel a bit down, but it's it's about riding those waves um, and this is using your instincts and your emotions. So you're going to be needing that um, during this journey, you know, tap into your moon energy um, and um, use your instincts and your intuition to guide you. Um, it could also be that you're looking back at the past in some way, shape or form. And as I said to you, with the outcome and the potential, you've got Saturn return age, which can make you reflect back on the past. Um uh, but there's a reason why your rear view mirror is small, all right? Um, it mustn't consume you. You can look back, you can bring the wisdom and the understanding forward with hindsight, but that's all, all right? You can't live there. So let go of the past, um, let go of that, and this is your second opportunity coming in now, your, your second chance to have the life that you want, to have the life that you feel you deserve or that you missed out on or you couldn't pursue or something just went wrong or it didn't happen. Um, now is your chance. And um, be open to opportunities coming in for you. You know, you've got wonderful opportunities. You've got support of the universe coming in. And, and certain things are going to be presented to you. So don't look back too much. You may just be a little bit nostalgic or sentimental, but um, leave things in the past. Only come forward to the future. Take take with you forward what you really need um, and use your instincts and your intu intuitions to guide you. Um, it can also be that um, you may be seeing things under the light of the moon as well. S certain things could be revealed to you and, um, and uh, you know, you really may be sort of going through some emotional um, upheavals or changes um, or just looking at things in an emotional way. But it is also about nurturing. 
And the moon is a very nurturing energy. So nurture yourself, nurture your person. If you've got children, that as well. A birth can sometimes come in with this, whether it's birthing of a new life or a new way of life. And you've got sixth house, which can be health, diet and well-being root, you know, your lifestyle. So something is definitely new coming in for you. You've got Isalt as well, which is opening yourself up to love, whether it's new love or the, the renewal of one. Um, and um, this is, um, you know, um, sort of so birthing that but it can also be you know birth as in um, children but it can also be um, uh, you know sort of bringing uh, bringing that emotional energy and connection to others um, there may be a female figure um, in your life or f this is tapping into feminine wisdom that can also happen with the moon and this is a very receptive quality which is a feminine quality being receptive okay um, being open and receiving information, being open to receiving help or guidance. And this can be spiritual guidance as well. Um, so um, instincts, intu intuitions, it can also be about periodically withdrawing to just boost up yourself, boost up your um, energies. Um, and that is, again, a very much a Piscean thing where you retreat and you withdraw to reflect. So do that periodically so that you keep yourself balanced. Um, um, otherwise, you can become a little bit touchy about things.